So now that this LED matrix has been more or less assembled, we went ahead and soldered all these LEDs together into this big array. So what's left to do is connect this array to these matrix driver boards. And the way we do that is with the uh, 50 conductor cable that's included in the kit. So in the kit you get three of these uh, 20 inch 50 conductor wire pieces. And we're going to connect each one of these uh, LED subsections to a uh, place on the LED driver board. So, we're going to push this aside for now. What you want to do is take two of these uh, 20 inch 50 conductor sections and we're going to go ahead and separate these out into individual wires. And then what we're going to do is we're going to strip off one eighth of an inch of insulation off of one side and tin all of those wires so that we could solder them to these LEDs. So I'm going to start by separating all these wires into individual uh, wires. So the easiest way to do that is to just kind of take your nail, wedge it in uh, in between one piece and the, ne the one next to it, and just kind of and you could separate these out into individual wires. So here's one and then I have uh, 49 of these to separate. Uh, what I recommend is not to pull it all the way down, maybe like leave it halfway so that, that your wires stay together and don't get tangled. So I'm going to go ahead and separate all these wires out. Now that we've separated the wires on two of the uh, wire sections, so we went ahead and pulled apart uh, the wires a little bit. Uh, we're going to go ahead and trim off one eighth inch of insulation off of each and every single one of these wires that we separated. And we're only going to do this on one side. So what you want to do is take your wire strippers, grab the wire, and strip off some of the insulation. It's okay if you strip off a little bit less than an eighth of an inch because when we tin the wire the insulation is going to burn off and or shrink a little bit to expose even more of the wire. So I'm going to go ahead and strip all of these wires on uh, one section and on the other section. So we have a total of about a hundred wires that are uh, stripped and ready to go. And remember we're just going to strip one side for now. Moving on to tinning all of these wires, here's the process to do that. So what you want to do is uh, wedge a wire inside your helping hands. And then what you want to do is take your soldering iron, take your solder, heat up the wire with the soldering iron and apply a little bit of solder. And then move the soldering iron down along the length of the wire to tin the whole length of the wire. And as you can see here, this wire is tinned. And all of the little contacts inside the wire have been congealed into one uh, cylinder. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to all the wires. Sometimes it's a little easier to grab like five of these and wedge it in your uh, helping hands here and then solder one by one in order to uh, speed up the process a little bit. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that to all the wires. So now that we went ahead and tinned all these wires, we're going to go ahead and start soldering them to the LEDs here. So what I like to do is first rip off a wire and then trim it down a little bit something like that and then I'm just going to go ahead and solder it to the pin that comes off of the LED this way and there we go that's soldered and I'm going to go ahead and solder wires to all of these LEDs on the side So now that one side is soldered, we're going to go ahead and solder the other side.
And this side will be a little bit trickier to do because uh, on this side we had all the LEDs pointing out. So you could solder to the little pins that are sticking out. And on this side you need to solder directly to the uh, LED pins that are uh, bent in. So let me show you what I mean by that. So on this side we, have, we don't have any uh, LED pins sticking out as they are uh, bent in this way and they kind of jut out here. But we're going to go ahead and solder to these pins uh, down there. So in order to do this, what you need to do is take your wire, kind of place it underneath the uh, little uh, wire that's going this way, and I'll place it underneath that, and then solder uh, the wire into place, like so. So that it's soldered in there, just like that. Let me see if I can get a better picture of this. I'm just going to go ahead and solder the wires to all of these LEDs on this side now. Once all of the wires have been soldered to the sides of the LEDs, we're going to move on to soldering LEDs to these uh, connections here. So in order to do that, you're going to need to break off 32 connectors here in the same way that we did these wires and strip and tin these also. So we need 32 of these. So we need 16 plus another 16. So now that we have 32 more wires, we're going to go ahead, rip off some, rip them off one at a time, and we're going to solder them to the very top of the LED display and to the second section of the LED display because uh, this section is uh, the big one we completed that's all soldered through and then there's the smaller section that we kind of glued together down here so these two are kind of separately connected so you have 16 connections here and you have another 16 connections over here that need to be made so to do these it's pretty simple just take your soldering iron Take your wire and solder that like so. So again we have this separate section that is not soldered to the large section and you can take a wire, lay it down and solder it like that. And you want to do that to all 16 of these pins that are uh, sticking up. So again, you have 16 pins here and 16 pins here that you need to solder wires to. And just kind of lay them off to the side after you're done soldering them, which is what I'll do right now. So now that we have all the connections made to the LED matrix, there are no more uh, wires we need to solder to this matrix. We're going to go ahead and kind of trim up this uh, wire mess make it a little bit more manageable. So right now, if you were to bunch up all the wires into one section, so if you were to do something like this to kind of uh, keep all the wires uh, neatly together, you'll notice that the ends of the wires do not all end at the same spot. And some of them end here and some of them end extend all the way out to here. So what you want to do is kind of comb all of this together. So something like that, where we have all the wires kind of neatly tucked away, leave a little bit of slack on the ones that come out here. So went ahead and uh, combined one half of the LED matrix. I went ahead and parted it down the middle here uh, for these two sections. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this section here to make all the wires one length so that uh, it's a little bit neater because all these wires have to go to a single control board. So if you have them different lengths, it'll be kind of messy, uh, the connections to the uh, matrix driver board. So what I like to do is just take this and just kind of clip it, clip off this uh, extra bit so that all the wires are the same length and they all end 
in the same length, so when you solder them, they're all pretty much ending right at the control board, or at the matrix driver board. So that's what I'm going to do. So I have all the wires here, and then what I like to do is trim it at the very last wire. So this is the shortest wire, it probably comes from all the way over here. So what I'm going to do is just chop all this other wire mess off and just leave them all the same length. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. I'm just going to throw these out. So now what I'm going to do is strip these wires back about an eighth of an inch and then tin all of them and do the same thing for the other side. And then I'll have to uh, solder these wires to a matrix driver board. And I'll show you the pinout of what to solder to what in order to get all this matrix to work just right. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and trim off all the insulation and trim tin the leads.